Hi, my name is Annalisa Gallegos, and today we'll be doing a meditation over the Immaculate Mary and sing the Immaculate Mary. So, um, thank you for watching, um, and we'll begin. Mary's Immaculate Conception. The Lord said to the serpent, I will put enmities between thee and the woman. In these words, the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary was announced to our first parents. It was to be the reversal of the friendship with the serpent contracted by Eve when she listened to his voice and fell under his power. The second Eve was never to be under the power of the devil. The enmity um, between them was to admit no possible expectation. This involved the grace of being conceived immaculate. Mary's immaculate conception was the foundation of all her graces. The absence of any stain or spot or of sin marked her off from all the rest of mankind. It distinguished her from the holiest of all the saints, since they, one and all, were sinners. Her perfect sinlessness was the source of her glory and all her majesty. It was with which opened the door to the unlimited graces that she received from God. It is with it's what qualified her for her divine maternity and for her throne as the queen of heaven. If sinlessness is such a priceless treasure, how I ought to value it, and how I ought to hate sin with a deadly hatred, and to detest and to avoid even why I call little sins. How eagerly should I cry to the Immaculate Mother of God, this day and every day, in words that she herself suggested to one of her servants. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Amen. Thank you for joining us in singing and uh, meditating today on the Immaculate Mary. Um, we hope to see you next time um, whenever we meditate again tomorrow. Um, hope, have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.